Okay, so time to do some chapter 8 side quests. First of all, we have an editor at Digipedia You've who wants us to that. help. You already said that. I know, Dan. <laughs> it's called a second take. <laughs> <laughs> It's called the video didn't play the first time, <laughs> so we didn't get to use the first take. God damn it! Wait, do you want to start again? No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it again. <laughs> you heard about Digipedia? It's the free dictionary that anyone can edit. It even uses the quote. That's like Wikipedia's tagline. Oh wow! I love it. <laughs> All right, so there's an editor writing in Kansai dialect. Now this is. This mission actually, like, brings up something that I've noticed a lot in anime, and it's really interesting. So, uh, when there's a certain dialect in Japan called Kansai, and it's kind of what they consider to be, like, the hick dialect. And anytime they get dubbed into English, they always make it, like, a Southern American. They're like, hey, y'all, it's me, I'm from Kansai. King DDD from the Kirby anime. In the Japanese version, I believe he has a Kansai accent, and so they made him, like, sound Southern in the... English version. Are you just stuck on repeat? Because you explained this in your Kirby video. Did I? Would be, not everyone who watched this has watched the Kirby video. Well, they so. should. Those videos are a better quality. Because <laughs> it's not just us going on weird fucking tangents. <laughs> yeah, you're focused and you're funded. Yay. <laughs> anyway, this whole mission was... This tent somebody's like, I say, I say, I want to edit these articles the way I want to. And I punched him in the face. And now he's going to be like, I'm sorry, I fucking didn't mean it, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, what you said got to me. <laughs> like, you just got fucking nuked by a mega. You do what you're fucking told. At this point, I'm just a fucking bouncer going around and intimidating people. Please give it some thoughts. You know how we like to go on random tangents and that? Yeah. Yeah, so my nan died recently. Go on. And when I told people at work, they were like, oh, Dan, I'm sorry for your loss and all that. And I'm like, no, I think she'd done it out of fucking spite. <laughs> because... Uh, go on. Because she was in hospital for the last week of her life. And my dad was meant to phone her the night before. The next morning, he then gets a phone call saying that she's died. Mm. And I'm like... Obviously, Dad's in tears because it's his mum. Yeah, naturally, And I'm thinking, yeah. like, no, she's done that to get back at you, Dad, because you didn't speak to her. She's not going to speak to you ever again. <laughs> that's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, ooh, that's rough, man. No, she's a fucking bitch. Even <laughs> dead, she's a bitch. Because now I've got to miss out on my work's Christmas do. Because that's it's sad. the same day as the funeral. And I'm like, like, even work, they were saying to me, oh, Dan, well, we're out drinking and, like, having our meal out and that, celebrating everything uh we'll be thinking of you and i'm like yeah when i watch that coffin go behind the curtain i'll be thinking of you lot too <laughs> being, <laughs> being salty the whole time you have fun with that next week my friend <laughs> you enjoy that day and i've had to write a speech i've got to write a speech for it because you know i'm good at that shit yeah and i thought i'll write an emotional one and then my family are like no dan it's too sad I'm like, okay i'll make a happy one then it's like oh no you can't make fun of her I'm like, it's what like, do you want then? <laughs> Give me direction. They're like, just be honest about it. And I'm like, but you want me to be nice, so I can't be honest. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, so um, I just realised what mission we're going to be uh, doing now. This one is a heavy one. And this, I believe, is going to be the rest of the video. It's a mission with the Occult Research Club. So we know those guys are cool. We did Last time we did a mission with them, it was actually kind of sick. So, uh... This mission is about super ultra puppets, i.e. real dolls. Okay. Okay, everyone, just a little parting of the veil. Uh, all of our commentary from this point on is now take two, <laughs> because the first take got way too bleak and way too dark way too quickly. <laughs> the nature of this mission and the topics it covers were not conducive to our devil may care attitudes. <laughs> and we don't want Dad to go to prison. <laughs> so, this is a mission about a pair of girls of indeterminate age having their likenesses stolen to become sex dolls. In this Digimon game! <laughs> uh and our dad is watching his words so carefully. <laughs> I feel the situation can be problematic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. 
And the worst part is that the game itself kind of dabbles in a little bit of the conversation we were having about the, not the ethics of making sex dolls of these girls without their permission or consent, but the fact that they're not getting paid for it and they, and would they be okay f with it if they were being paid for it? And also they're upset that they're not selling or they're not selling for a lot. And that's a blow to their confidence also. And they take that as an insult. It's all messy. <laughs> this whole mission is fucking bleak and quite messy. And it's hard to give <laughs> jovial commentary about it. Without saying <laughs> something horribly off board or the kind of shit you'd read on those Reddit boards. The ones that should be expunged. So, you know. This will be the episode where I have the least to say. <laughs> If you can't say something appropriate, don't say nothing at all. <laughs> I will say, while the mission's topic is kind of fucked and the kind of light-hearted nature of the mission at the moment is a bit tasteless, I do like some elements of this mission because it does get genuinely creepy at points, like scary creepy, in quite a cool way. But yeah, we'll get to that. But one of the good things I do like about having these sort of topics in games is it's a meat... The thing about video games is it's the media where you're most involved with and it can really start that discussion. Yeah. Because a lot of topics and that like this in movies would be shut down, in books wouldn't sell. In comic books, like you'd get like black bag books, wouldn't you, where you got asked behind the counter. Whereas in a game and that, it's easy to have this discussion. Mm. And this whole discussion of like, hey, what... What's up with the weird fucked up ethics of this whole scenario, which is just awful, frankly. So, yeah. Also, Kyoko there was like, LDC, does that stand for Lustful Dream Chicks? At which point they go, no, that's not what it stands for. And that then begs the question, wait, Kyoko, what the fuck have you been looking into? <laughs> is that a whole other thing? And are you into it? Because that, that's a whole different matter. So yeah, we need to look into this living doll club because they have somehow stolen the likenesses of these girls and then used them to create sex dolls, which is not cool at all. Although saying that, when I was on Pornhub one day, so one of any day of my life, go on. <clears throat> there is a category where they do put doll masks on. Dog What's... masks. Doll. Oh, doll masks. Yeah, so the female person. I'm sure they put dog masks on as well, but that's an yeah. entire different. Subset. There's ones I watch where like the girls will put on a doll mask and like so it covers their face completely. Obviously, it's got a little slit in the mouth for the so they can breathe. Mm. But it's so the guy can interact and do it with a doll. But they are feeling it as well and they are interacting. It is consensual sex, but the guy's getting it off that he's doing it with a doll, even though he's actually doing it with a person. That seems so bizarre to me because I. That's like a surrogate for a surrogate, if that yeah. makes sense, yeah. It's like... You'd I mean, it's a king. Kings don't make sense at the end of the day. I mean, you do time, it with but... a doll because you can't do it with a girl, but you're doing it with a girl who's pretending to be the doll. Mm. By the way, check out this model that he's trying to sell us. <laughs> you then look at the screen, your face just kind of went pale because we don't know what to say. <laughs> like, you can't joke about this. It's really fucked up. And the guys even like, ah, no one can know about this. This is a secret deal. How are you doing health-wise? And it's like, what the fuck is this? So I'm like, I mean, I'm a creep and a criminal, but I wouldn't go this yeah, far. Yeah, this, this is not where I thought Digimon Cyber Sleuth was going to go. It's leading more into the sleuth side of things. This feels like something you'd see in a futuristic L.A. Noir. I will give it that, so... But this is on available on a Nintendo console. It is! It absolutely is! It doesn't feel real. And this guy, this odd man, which is a very nice thing to call this fellow, not creepy pedo. But yeah, this odd man is really trying to sell us on this project. If you want to be sold on stuff, I can introduce you to, to a shoe booster. <laughs> Dan, now it's not the time to hog your shoe boosters. <laughs> this may not be the episode for salesmanship. Maybe any other episode but this one. <laughs> I need something to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. So this guy's like, ah, you can go into our special package, but there's one condition. I'll tell you what the condition is. Once you have your dream girl sent to your room, you can never leave your room for the rest of your life. Simple, right? 
This reminds me of that Futurama episode with the... Was it Lucy Lou? I don't remember that one, but go on. He gets like a robot doll thing to be a celebrity and then he gets in a relationship with her. Mm. And then like, the idea is that like, as he becomes an old man and doesn't uh, have kids and that, he's just stuck with this robot having sex all the time. Oh, wow. I guess it's quite a bleak episode then. Or... No, it's funny. Oh, okay, cool. Because it's a fries expense. Oh, look, Sega! Oh, right. Sega! Right. Sega's there! Let's talk about <laughs> Sega! Yeah, let's go talk about Sega! Se it's this, the arcade that has Sega on it. It's the arcade where girls are having their identities stolen to be made into sex dolls. That is a thing in this Vanto Namkai game. This explains the Sonic fan base. <laughs> And check this fucking nightmare shit out! I take people's data, make dolls from it! He oh. looks like a fleshlight himself! Lots and lots of dolls! Dolls that steal souls! Then people become dolls! The dolls are lifelike, the people are deathlike! That's kind of poetic. It <laughs> is, it's also deeply fucked up! <laughs> Who, what are you?! So, at this point, I was in... I, uh, the way I inferred this... Inferred? The way that I read this is... Wait, are they, like, stealing people's souls and then selling their bodies? Like, just selling their actual flesh bodies for human trafficking sex doll purposes? Because what the fuck if that is what's happening? And then I was like, no, I'm reading too deep into it. It can't be that, because that's too fucked up for this otherwise fairly light-hearted game to be touching. If their soul and personality was removed, would it be a... Yeah, it'd still be a crime, wouldn't it, to do it, wouldn't it? Yes, because the, it's the same way that defiling somebody's corpse is a crime, yes. Is it? Yes. <laughs> Shit, I have somewhere to be! You run out of the room. <laughs> it's not in everywhere in the part of the world, though. Not everywhere, but it should be. <laughs> yeah, in some parts of the world, you're allowed to do it once with your partner, if like you were married and that, or you're in a full committed relationship and they passed away, you're allowed why to do would, it one more time. Why would you want to? Oh God! As like a final time with your partner. In some, I can't think That's... what part of the world, but it is perfectly legal. But you're only allowed to do it once. That just feels. That feels like a thing that's legal. But if you do it, you're still going to be ostracized by everyone you know, <laughs> and you should be. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, that's... I can't... I'm just trying to think what part of the world it is, yeah. but there's a name for it, but it is... You have fun Googling that. Try not to get yourself put on a list as you Google it. Oh, it's and gonna... <laughs> this motherfucker! He's like, oh, you're onto our weird fucked up shit. I'm going to run away now. And he leaves! Like, give Takumi a gun. <laughs> like, Takumi at this point needs to be armed with a weapon. He has a digital weapon for the digital space. He needs a flesh weapon <laughs> for the meat space. A flesh weapon for the meat space. <laughs> if that doesn't sound like an adult film, I don't know what does. <laughs> that is the title oh, of this. No! <laughs> no, it can't be. Is that your chat up line? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. And I'm the one trying to stay clean, and you're just going as far as you can with this. That was just very, very poor wording on my part. I am sorry. Oh, we didn't arrest the guy, but we got him cornered. Uh, not really. He pegged it. He, he hoofed it. He's gone. And now Kyoko's like, now, what's become of the project? So we know that identities were being stolen by that arcade machine. I assume that's like a photo booth. That's how they got these two girls and Nokia's likenesses. But... Now there's like an even deeper level because we know about that more fucked up insidious side of things about the people dying. So now we've got to investigate that. So this mission continues. There's more to it. We've not even scratched the surface. It like keeps snowballing. I don't even know how I'd trigger warning this. I don't know what I would put. <laughs> I don't know what I would... Human trafficking, maybe? Like if anyone doesn't want to... Look at subject the subject of human trafficking. I'll put that as one of them, but yeah. Anyway, we just got given a URL from that dodgy bastard, or at least we got it from that Infermon, so... Let's look into this. Let's go into this URL. Don't worry about going too deep into it. We don't know what you'll find in there. 
Uh-oh. It could be something dark and sinister. At this point, me playing the game, I was like, I don't think I want to continue this mission. I think I'm in too deep. Can I be like, hey boss, I'm an apprentice cyber sleuth. Can I go back to like <laughs> running around and helping some guy who dropped his phone, maybe? <laughs> I'd rather be doing that. Someone's AC needs fixing. Oh, let me go <laughs> fix the air con- Yeah, sure, I'll do- I've got to beat up a dish you on. Hell yeah, let's do that. This is fine. I'm okay with this. Now, this is genuinely scary. It's like, wait, well, you want me to log out of Eden? What are you talking about? This is my room. I'm at home. I'm not in cyberspace. Who are these girls? Oh, they're my dream girls. They live with me here in my bedroom. I feel the situation can be problematic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Fuck! So all of these girls whose likenesses are based on real girls whose identities have been stolen for the purposes of selling sex dolls are being used by this fucked up spider Digimon to lure in real people so that we can extract their souls and then trap them in cyberspace indefinitely, leaving behind basically a corpse. And I thought people's, I thought saving people's profile pictures <laughs> on Facebook into my wank bank was bad. But... <laughs> Yeah, this is a this is a whole new kettle of fish, and this motherfucker is not listening to us, so he's I, a lost cause. On the plus side, this mission makes me feel clean. Yeah, <laughs> by comparison, it's like we've made some bleak, fucked up jokes during this whole LP, but we didn't. Expect, the game is the thing that crossed the line, not us. We were quite innocent in this regard. Judge, I blame the game. <laughs> this is on Cyber Sleuth. I would recommend the judge and the jury all play the game fully. <laughs> <laughs> if you do not want 100% it, then I would plead not guilty. <laughs> they got to get every single Digimon. <laughs> no, specifically, you have to catch them all. If games go to court, I think they should have to do that. Well, make the judge play the game so they have to get context for it. Yeah. That'd be a lot of time that judges would have to spend doing it, but at the same time... It would make probably a lot of court cases regarding video games go a lot smoother if the judges knew what the fuck they were talking about. So. Yeah, because a lot of times when games go to court about incidents and that, it's usually a particular scene. Mm. It's not the whole context of the game. Yeah. By the by, they're bringing up something really clever about this mission, I will say, which is this is all based on like a folklore story about a spider that lures people in. Hence the Infermon being the thing that steals the identity. So that, I think, is kind of cool. I'm like, okay, the fact that you're using some folklore to back up this weird fucked up scenario you've made. Oh, a little bit like the uh, the face stealer in uh, Avatar, Legend of Aang. Possibly, yeah. I, <laughs> I only vaguely remember that, but yeah. Or the, the, the Spider Queen in that Hellboy anime. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah. You haven't watched that either, have you? Like, I'm just letting the, making sure the commentary goes smoothly. I'll ask you later, <laughs> okay? <laughs> we'll watch it later. <laughs> <laughs> Call me out on my white lies, you bastards. <laughs> I like the Alice Cooper joke, the other episode. <laughs> you totally fucking ruined me on that one. That was it. My subscribers, like, dropped to ten after that. Everyone just left and they knew I was a fraud. Oh, yeah. And this is worse. Kyoko then straight up confirms. Oh, yeah, his dead body was left behind. Probably got sold for human trafficking. Yeah, probably some rich czar in another country fucking that body right now. Well, that's out of our hands. This is above our pay grade. And the worst part, <laughs> despite the fact we were just speaking to the boy to which this horrifying crime has happened, is that the mission is over. We can't touch this any further. It's too messy. So that kid's just dead now. <laughs> that kid we were speaking to, he's dead. He exists only within the Matrix, and this is the last thing we see of this mission. Oh, okay. But if he logs out, is he going to die?
fuck? He's dead. Oh. A f motherfucker is dead. <laughs> well, we got a slew, Frank. Huh? Yeah! I'm capable. <laughs> I'm capable. I'm going to turn myself in to the police. <laughs> fuck. You give it a s to any s This is me. Yeah, this is... <laughs> is it too much? <laughs> I think we need you on a bounce on this. this. I don't... Second take. What? Yes. <laughs> Stop this. <laughs> I tried to keep the conversation away from that. But you I, just did it back. I tried to make it seem like a, like a decent discussion and I just buried myself. <laughs> <laughs> I could go on a list for this. <laughs> How far back do you want to go? <laughs> right, guys, welcome to the episode. <laughs> Start again. <laughs> All right. Will you visit me in prison? <laughs> Can we record more cyber sleep? <laughs> Oh, this is a hard one to commentate over while staying tasteful. Hey guys, it's David here. We're recording from Alcatraz. <laughs> <laughs> he got deported and then arrested. <laughs> he had to flee the country first. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I might keep some of this as the B-roll. <laughs> Just have it play after the fact. Are you recording? Yes! Oh, you dick! <laughs> you, you, that's why you moved the screen! Didn't you? <laughs> Can't see that I'm still recording! <laughs> Fuck it up! Alright, let's just go back. Fuck it! <laughs>